What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today I'm back with another makeup tutorial. I have the third episode of my cool girl series and we're doing a green glittery eye and a little bit of a subtle orange lip if you will. I've been seeing green eyeshadow everywhere and I just, you know, I didn't want to do the regular like matte pea green look. I wanted to combine it with kind of like, okay, so if a cool girl did green eyeshadow, how would she add glitter? This is my answer. <laughs> if you don't know what my cool girl series is, it's basically like fun, out there, inspiring. Show stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Makeup that, you know, makes you want to do something different but it needs to be easy. You know, you know what a cool girl is, you know. So if you want to see how I did this look, then I suggest you keep on watching. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nats and I want my channels to be a space where we take an as realistic and true, but also fun approach to beauty. So if you like the idea of that, please subscribe, please. Also go follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Twitter. I'm all over the place in both platforms and we'll have fun. That's all I wanted to say. Let's get into the tutorial. I look at myself in the mirror, my brows look very symmetrical, but then when I do this and I see myself with the screen, I'm like, this mirror is lying. Well, mm. all right, um, <clears throat> we can, we can, we can, we can, we can talk about a whole lot of stuff today, but what we cannot talk about today, what I will not allow is any conversation about the fact that I've had the same hairstyle every day for about three weeks now and in all my videos and I haven't really washed my hair. It's just not a subject that I'm prepared to talk about. So we're gonna start with a Glossier Sky Wash. This is in the color Lawn. I'm just gonna use this as my base primer and I'm gonna try to keep it kind of on the lid, maybe, maybe a, just a little bit above our fold or our crease. Next, I'm gonna go into my Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Euphoria palette. And I'm going to grab this green right here. It basically looks like, it looks like the Glossier one we have right now. Wow, look at that. Do you see that? How that dried down very matte and Greasy and crusty So I changed my mind. I started priming with the Glossier Sky Wash and it was just so dry and matte that I was like This is not gonna work So now I'm gonna prime with my concealer. I'm gonna prime with the it cosmetics bye bye under eye instead it's a very very thick concealer and It's an amazing primer because it just cancels out all your color on your lid. See that? Which makes it a very good like base for eyeshadow. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's see if this works better. Just going into that green and tapping that color on. Oh yes, that is already so much better so so much better i'm going to not take it too far up i'm just going to go a tiny little bit above my fold okay now i can actually say that this eyeshadow does have quite a nice color payoff. So I'm just very gently blending this out. You don't want to take it too far up. As I said, I want to kind of keep it where it is right now. I think I want to drag it out a little bit more actually. I wouldn't do a little bit of like a, not a cat eye, but just I want to extend it a bit here. Just very gently sweeping this out, blending. 
I like that. What do you think? All right, I'll do the other eye. Walk out the door in my little black dress. Been a long day and I need to de-stress. Sun sets behind the town skyline. I really think that this green color is making the brown in my eyes pop. Or am I wrong? <sighs> okay, so I want to do glitter, but I haven't decided which one yet. So either I'm going to go with the... That eyeshadow pan just hit the 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 corner of it hit right in my ankle. Either <laughs> either I'm gonna do the Glossier Play Glitter Gelée in Glass Bonsai. It's a very gold. It's a pot of gold, if you will. It's a pot of gold. So it you know it will end up looking very gold, and the glitter chunks are quite big. Or I'll do one of these pixie ones, um, which is a smaller glitter see that wow look at those glitters i'll start with a few of the glossier ones i'm just oh that is oh no it's dried out that makes me sad maybe i'll try anyways because i just want a few that's kind of dry but i'll try to just press them on and see what happens yeah no Nope. Okay, um, pixie it is, I guess. I mean, to be fair, I've had that for quite a while, so I'm not surprised that it has dried out. So I'm gonna go with the one that looks the most golden, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna start with a little bit on my lid and see kind of how it lives. That looks very nice. I'm gonna do some more. We're gonna have glitter everywhere but that's just the way the life is when you're using glitters should we do like an inner corner with this gold <laughs> i got so excited now i think i want a little bit more try to pat the, this on in like layers to get it to be a bit more opaque well now i think i'm kind of getting where i want to get and I'm just then like trying to pat it upwards a little bit to kind of fade it out upwards with the green. By the way, I don't know if I've ever said this, but I really, really love these pixie glitters. They're so easy to use. They are eyeshadows, so they are completely dry. But in some weird way, it's so easy to just swipe your finger and pat it on. And I mean, as every glitter it does have fallout but very minimal considering the formula that it has they i can if you want like a nice glitter palette i have this one i have another one of these in another like shade range i love them they're so 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 good all right i'm gonna do the other one and i'll be back my headphones on playing my favorite song turn the volume up all the way on my phone so i'm thinking i want to I want to do an inner corner with glitter. I'm gonna pop some of that concealer in my inner corner and then I'm gonna go in with some glitter. So I'm just popping that right there, right there. And then just going in with that glitter. Ooh, I like that. I do approve. So, it's so pretty. Wow. It's so pretty and so easy to do, like ridiculously easy to do. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm going to do my mascara. This is the CoverGirl Waterproof Total Tease Mascara and nothing compares to it. It's so good, it's so, so good. So I'm just gonna put that on and I will be back. On my phone. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use something that I preach about for people to not use, which is makeup wipes. But this is not a part of skincare. This is a part of removing unwanted glitter on your face. So just, if you're gonna use one, be very gentle 
don't tug too much on your skin can we focus please thank you see there's just i have a lot of it right here and i just want to easily swipe it away all right let's do some skin quickly um i'm as usual going to do the glossy skin tint i've already primed with some oil as i always do and then i just go in and i'm quite generous with this so i just use quite a lot and then i just massage it in with my fingers this basically covers nothing i talk about it in my top three tinted moisturizer for summer but it does even out the skin i'm gonna color correct with my make the make concealer as usual n4 it's kind of like this pinky undertone and i just put a little bit on my under eyes and then i'm actually going to conceal with the it cosmetics one that we use as a base because since we have that very bright very glittery upper eyelid i want the under eye to be as clean and as light as possible taking some of my it cosmetics by my under eye and i'm just dotting that right there and then i'm going to take whatever is left on my finger and just put that on the little breakout i have right here which just you know decided to make a visit and did i pop it absolutely not i don't do that shit. that is not me anymore Ooh, look at that for bronzer as usual my make the make vitamin c compact bronzer in sb1 just going oh crap that was a bit too much okay let's just make sure to blend that out see how bright and awake that under eye looks i love that i love that putting some on my nose because i am listen i'm gonna do some freckles today because i feel like that just belongs to this look for blush, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true, the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. This is the perfect color for this look because it's um, very subtle, but it is warm toned. So I think that it's gonna go really well. I'm not gonna do a lot of this. I want the cheek and the lip to be quite, you know, not out there like the eye maybe a little something like this so for our highlighter i'm using my isadora glossy stick in 34 dewy nude this is no news to anyone it's my favorite glossy sweaty highlighter right now this is a swedish brand i don't think you can buy them in the us but any type of like more of a non-glittery highlighter like this one will do i also like to put some on my forehead kind of like right here see that glow it gives so nice so for freckles i like to use actually the glossier skywash products i mix the brown color echo with this kind of light brown color palm and it just becomes the perfect um, freckle color for me so i just mix it on my hand excuse the other colors on my hand but this is what it looks like and then i mix it together and then angle brush and then you just start and it doesn't have to be perfect at all and then i just spread them out like that see I go in on my nose and on my cheeks and then once they dry down a little bit I just do this the 
face like a prayer. Stars shine. A little something like that and then usually actually what I do is I add a couple of molds because I can so I just take the dark brown one I add usually where my pimples are like right here I have one and then I like to add like one or two on my nose side somewhere to even it out so lastly for our lip, I'd like to do something like a little bit orangey because I feel like it wouldn't have been a cool girl look if we did like a nude lip now because that would have made this look kind of just cute and pretty. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to overline my lip a little bit with this Milani um, pencil in 09. It's kind of like this gingery color and I'm just going to... I'm not overlining too much. I just want to accentuate my Cupid's bow. I'm gonna do this. Cause I saw this, um, I've seen a trend going on where you can very um, noticeably see that the upper lip is lined, but the lower one isn't. So I'm trying to do that. So then I'm going to go in with this Beauty Pie super juicy kind of thick lip pen and I'm going to do that also on my kind of like on my Cupid's bow to give it some color and just do that. And then what I think I want to do just to neutralize it a little bit is I'm going to go in with the Glossier Generation G lipstick and cake. This is kind of like a nude lip, but it's more on the peachy, orangey um, color shade range. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cancel out my lower lip a little bit, make it a bit more nude. Yes, I did that with some concealer because I just wanted to, I want there to be some difference in between the upper lip and the lower lip. I'm happy with this. <laughs> what do you think? I really like this look. It like the eyeshadow turned out exactly the way that I imagined it, which very rarely happens. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you have any suggestions on our next cool girl episode because you guys are a bunch of cool girls. So please give me some inspo. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.